Dr. Tom Bellella here with an important message. Yes, I'm ticked off. Dr. Tom's ticked off. We're talking about styrofoam. I get to read you this information. I'm putting on the click so I'm, you know, I'm not making this up. So it's called polystyrene styrofoam, combination of benzene and styrene, both of which are known carcinogens. It's a big problem, all right? It causes mutations. It says here, been linked to Parkinson's disease and leukemia. The production of the styrofoam creates a lot of greenhouse gases, not good, all right? And it's three to five times more dangerous than originally thought. When you microwave the styrofoam, releases more toxic chemicals, poses more threats to humans, okay? Not good. And then if you do like this, the styrofoam and the plastic, it's even worse because you're getting out of the plastics on something heated, releasing the chemicals. Kristen over there is going to tell you about it, bad for disposal. I had a little bit of a disposal. Styrofoam is not usually recycled due to its lightweight nature and the high economic cost of transporting and decreasing the petroleum-based material. 25 to 30% of landfills are dedicated to plastics, including the styrofoam. Styrofoam takes at least 500 years to decompose. It is the primary source of urban litter and also the main pollutant of oceans, bays, and other United States water sources. And it can cause choking and starvation in wildlife. So my tip is if you're gonna go to a coffee shop, bring your BPA-free coffee mug with you. Back to you. Absolutely, so 500 years to decompose. Just say no to the styrofoam. Don't go to any coffee shops where they're using cheap styrofoam, folks. And maybe even that's in your workplace. Don't do it. Get rid of it. Dr. Tom's ticked off. Thank you, Kristen. We're here at NTC trying to educate you and let you know it's safe and not safe. Thanks for watching. I'm ticked off.